so I just check my emails check my social media and so forth and I'm not actually done just yet but I gotta do my tarot readings for my clients so my friend told me about this app and website called Notion where you can create a whole bullet points schedule templates and all of that and I think that is really really cool so this is the way that I schedule my stuff and as you can see here I have my art clients project and then I have my tarot clients as well and then I do have a list of all the YouTube videos that I need to record and this one is my charm bag if you do watch my tarot readings on my other channel at Adora's Light you may often see this bag where I have a lot of my charms and like tiny notes for me to read and get more guidances on my tarot readings so yeah and this is my actual physical schedule book and this is the star child tarot i also have here with me the angel numbers and these are a whole stack of my tarot cards and my oracle cards and every time that i do a tarot reading for my client i would personally pick which one that would really resonate with my client's personal energy so yeah as you can see i have a lot of them and this is still not enough i have to collect more also have some other more canvases i just have quite a lot of medium to large size canvas but i'm still not quite sure what i want to paint on it you can also see an underneath sketch over there so this was my friend's canvas actually and she decided not to use it and so she told me that hey do you want this canvas because it would be such a waste also a sneak peek look of a painting a really huge painting actually that i did last year so soon enough i will be posting the entire process of this painting okay so yeah stay tuned also i have this oval painting over here that i have to finish all right so for today i have to transfer this sketch onto the canvas this is a commission piece for an oil painting for my lovely client let me show you yeah so she requested this painting based on the original painting that one that i actually did for myself and she wanted me to do the version that fits better for her concept these are all the things that i would be needing so i'm going to be using this paper to transfer the sketch onto here and then i would be needing to use carbon paper it looks like this carbon paper okay so i just opened my canvas Ooh, it feels so satisfying to see a completely fresh new canvas so I already transferred the sketch here now what I'm going to do is I will be using this carbon paper I'm just going to take it. so now I'm going to take my carbon paper with me so as you can see it has two different sides this is the one that has the like the paint tint on the carbon paper so i will be facing it down onto the canvas and i think i may be needing another one so i'm just going to put it like so and then i will be putting the sketch on top of it so yeah, this is what I always do to transfer the, ske uh, the sketch onto my canvas for any of my traditional painting. So yeah, this is the canvas in the back. This is the carbon paper and this is my sketch. So now I'm just going to be redrawing again and I'm not going to put too much pressure, just a light but enough pressure onto the drawing. Okay, so I just got done transferring the sketch right onto the canvas. And now what I need to do is to cover up the sketch using a fixative. This is actually really important for you to do this if you like to do traditional art as well. So that when you are painting, the graphite of the sketch will not transfer and blend onto the painting because that is going to look really muddy. Oh so yeah, as you can see, 
this commission painting is based off on my original painting that I did for my project, White Spirit Dark Matter. These two are my lovely fantasy characters. So my client saw this painting and she told me that she would want a painting similar to this with her own twist on the concept and the colors. All right, so now another work that I have to do is continuing and finishing up this digital painting commission for a lovely client. So I'm not going to show you the entire painting just off yet because I will be actually uploading a special video specifically for the process of this painting. So I'm going to post that on my YouTube as well. So yeah, heads up for that. And then let me show you, I also have this one. It's still on the sketch stage for another client. I actually have to change the tigers because she prefer it to be other spirit animals. So I might be putting some fairies over here and butterflies, birds and whatnot. Now I gotta go to the supermarket and I'm going to wear my pretty mask. <laughs> and I have to also buy ice cream for my mom. So yeah, this is my mask, super extra. I know, I look like an extra fish, basically. Also gotta bring this shopping bag. No kitties! <laughs> no kitties! No What I bought I bought some golden candles for my abundance ritual and then I have two packs of white candles for more oops for more of my tarot readings and I bought three roses and a really pretty sunflower oh my gosh this is actually oh my goodness I don't know what else to say like this is so pretty look at that I rarely ever see any florist selling sunflowers at where I live so when I saw this I was like okay I should totally buy this and this one stick I don't know how to call it like this one stick of sunflower I think it it cost about like three dollars or so and for the roses one rose costs about one dollar all right, so for today, I will be doing a photo shoot. I might be wearing this white kimono and then this silk slip-in dress. And I'm setting up my backdrop. Luckily, I have a really big window, so this is going to help with the lighting. Not lighting, lightning. No, it's lighting, whatever. But anyway, I will be using this ring light as well to help me 
and yeah we'll see how it goes all right so i just got my makeup done oh my gosh my fringe is still a mess though but this is the whole look and this is the silk and slip dress okay so i'm trying to rush in because apparently we do have some golden hour moments oh look at that oh wow wow it is so bright yeah okay so yeah i'm going to try to take some bit of photo using my camera oh my gosh look at that wow so pretty i really love experiencing this in life you know this is part of the little magic in life wow this is so pretty look at that effect wow my face kind of looks a little bit too oily but i mean that's fine Wow. <laughs> Bye. My goodness, he's so chunky. No, please. Chunkies. Chunk, chunk. Chunk, chunky. Chunky doggy. <laughs> <laughs>